performer has been seen on TV's HBO channel, Homer channel. He has been seen live at the Magic Castle in Hollywood, at the Magic Circle in London. He is here tonight direct from Las Vegas. Please welcome to the stage the mind reader, Mr. Paul Draper. Hey. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys, it's been quite a show so far, hasn't it? It's pretty wonderful. You should see the orgy going on backstage right now. It's, uh, yeah. If you, if you paid one of those VIP tickets, you're invited after. No, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. All right, do you want to learn a magic trick? Huh. I'm going to teach you how to make a lion disappear. How to make a lion disappear. A lion, animal cracker. Don't, don't patronize me. Now look, you reach inside the box of animal crackers, you pull out a lion, let's see. Reach inside, grab a lion, roar, roar. That's a, that's, that's a kangaroo. That's a, that's a lion dressed as a kangaroo. You, you, take, you take the lion dressed as a kangaroo, you toss him in your hand, reach in your pocket, grab some magic dust, magic dust. Shut up, magic dust. Uh, shut your hole. Shut. <laughs> Magic. There it is. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. He's reappeared inside the box. There he is. Just fine. Not only that, not only that, not only that, he has a costume change. Now he's a monkey. <laughs> Fat guys take cookies everywhere. Um, so uh, I, need, uh, I need five people to come up on stage, men and women. Uh, come up, there's one, two, three. Give me a couple women now. Here we go, lovely. Have you already been on stage? I think I remember those legs. Let's get, I got, I, I'm gonna, I need, I need one of you to step down. Let's one, two, because I just need five. I'm gonna keep the lady. I want an extra lady. I apologize, you look terrifying. Here you go, no, stay, 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 stay. Here, what, what, are, what are you dressed as? He's a brony, everybody. He's a brony. A bro that loves my little pony. Here's a costume no one can name. What are you dressed as? I was Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. And you are dressed as? The big guy. Franken guy, but. The token black guy. That's, uh, that's, uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I grew up a Jew in Utah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was horrible. Now, uh, and, and what are you dressed as? Raven, wonderful. What are you dressed as? Uh, an egg staff member. I mean, it's really believable. <laughs> you know, do you want to know what I'm dressed as? What your parents wish you were wearing. It's true. Yeah, come on. You're going to boo that like it's not true? Uh, now look, here, take a marker, take a marker, take a marker. I want you to think back to this morning. Think back to this morning when you got dressed. And I want you to think about what color of underwear you put on. Now, if you're not wearing any, please make something up, okay? It's, uh, now, don't just put black, right? Sadness of my soul black, right? Don't just put pink, right? Fluffy cotton cloud pink. Be creative, begin writing now. They're gonna start writing down that underwear color. Don't show anyone. We're going to work together to figure out which one belongs to which person. Now, <laughs> for the last several years, I've worked at the Venetian in Las Vegas. Some of you may remember me from past AXs. Over there, they insist I perform as a 1400s Roman Catholic Italian dude. <laughs> Buongiorno, mimi, mi chiamo Cesare. I'm a Gia for you, I can sonne for you. Came in a cosa, na yorna dai soli. Oh, it's recorded. Um, now pass all your sheets to the right when you have it written. Pass them all to the right. Pass your markers into my bag. Pass the uh, sheets to the right. Put the markers in the bag. When you get the sheets, mix them all up. Are they doing it? I believe in you. Mix them up, mix them up, mix them up. Markers in the bag. Excellent. Mix, 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 mix. Your job, the five of you, is do not react when I read these. Do not react. I'll take it back from you now. Excellent. 
He's a professional staffer and he's doing his job well. Here we are. The, uh, <laughs> all right. Try not to react. Teal and baby blue exclamation mark. By round of applause, who do you think has teal and baby blue? <laughs> You're just hopeful. <laughs> I, I'm confused why so many of you think these two gentlemen are good at cursive. <laughs> I'm going to give this to you because it matches your outfit. Hold on to it for now. Next is uh, blood red, shiny blue, uh, uh, checkered. Or maybe it says chimichanga. I don't know. It's, uh... You hesitated far too long. For right now, hold on to it. Hold on to it for now. Uh, he looked at it in a way of, how did that guy write? It's not his. I'm going to give this to you. Cookie gingerbread man. Cookie gingerbread man. <laughs> Have you seen the Muffin Man? <laughs> Here, hold on to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheeky Black. I'm going to need the two of you to turn around for that. Turn around. Turn around. No, no, no. Show us. You got to show us. Here you are. Cheeky Black, is he Cheeky Black? Is she Cheeky Black? Hold on to it. I think it's Cheeky Black because she's not wearing any. I want, I want to put it out there. <laughs> black as the soul of Anime Expo members. God bless America. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. I got a dual citizenship with Israel. If Trump wins, I'm leaving. Um, <laughs> here we go. The, uh, <laughs> look, I wanted the old Jewish guy that liked birds to win, but you didn't vote for him. Here we go. Some of you did. Some of you did. Now, look, this is what I'm going with. I'm going with blood red, sky blue, checkered, teal and baby blue, cookie gingerbread man, cheeky black, black is the soul of AX members. If I gave you the right underwear color on the count of three, hold it above your head. One, two, three. Give a round of applause. <laughs> Guys, come on. I'll grab those back from you. This goes into my study. I'm going to study you now. So. I, uh, thank you so much, you guys. You're so good. So I'm a, also a professor of cultural anthropology at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. I like to study people, the choices they make, the decisions they make, why they do the things they do. Uh, I'm going to take this a step further today. I'm going, so much of what I do depends on my ability to observe people, to look at people, to see them. What happens if I can't see you, if I have to read your thoughts without looking at you? I'm going to hand these objects to a couple of people out here. I have some duct tape. Take some duct tape. Somebody grab it. I have some markers. Check this out. I have a bondage mask. <laughs> now, put, look at those. Make sure they're real. They're normal. Uh, I also have a, a what, are, what are you dressed as, little bug? Yeah. I am a stereotypical Asian. Stereotypical Asian. <laughs> Come here. Stand up for a second. You see this stereotypical Asian? She's, she's also a racist. Um, here, sit back down. Now look, I want you to hold, hold on to those two coins. On those two coins. Now look, I'm going to blindfold myself. The, my, my, your eyelids have very few muscles in them. You put the slightest amount of pressure on your eyelid, you can't open it up. Let me see one of those coins. One of these coins 
fills my entire eye socket, nothing but bone around it. I'm going to take a piece of tape from you. Who has it? Tear off a piece of tape, then start tearing another one. Ah, you're tearing it with your teeth. That's awesome. Here you go. That's, she's like the Fifty Shades of Grey starter kit, that one. Now look. Here you go. That coin goes in the center of the tape. That gets embedded in the center of my eye socket. I'll take another piece. Keep tearing. I'm going to need five of them. I'm going to grab the second coin right here. Now, it's going to become very dark for me here in a moment. Don't you leave. I don't find that funny anymore. <laughs> okay, Dollar. Give me a third piece of tape. I can't see you, so you got to someone help her. There you are. Uh, now, <laughs> that's a wee little tiny piece of tape. Give me a larger piece of tape. Uh, Bjor no, give me a larger piece. A bigger piece of tape. <laughs> the uh, Biore strips are for wimps. Here you are. No, 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 it doesn't hurt going on. Save it up. Yeah. Excellent, that's the last piece I need. Now, now here you go, I'll put it across my... I still need to be able to breathe and to <laughs> speak. That's a, the, those got progressively longer like a Christmas tree. Look at you. Here, let me, let me take the tape back. Get, I'll take the tape back. Good, just get it on the stage. Okay. Uh, did it get up there? Now, oh, did it fall off? Someone give me the blindfold. Do you have the blindfold? Any electronics weirdness in the blindfold? No, just as it appears to be. I want you to do something gross. Look in my ear. Whoever's here, do I have any electronics? Anyone giving me signals? No. Any electronics? No. no. Okay. Two people from this side, two people from this side who are not artists, come up and help me. One person on each hand. One more. Lead me up onto the stage. Okay. We now know that you guys are dicks. Okay. The... Uh, now look, okay, now, now, what I, what I need you each to do is take a sheet of paper, each of you take a sheet of paper, take a sheet of paper, and I have markers in here, uh, there. each of you take a marker and a sheet of paper, stand one on each side of me, I'm going to use my other senses to try and determine what you're going to draw, draw something that if we were to show it to the audience, they would know what it is, what's your name? Elska, where are you from? That sounds Russian. I'm from San Diego. San Diego. What's your name? <laughs> Yusuf. Yusuf? Yeah. Where are you from, Yusuf? Egypt. Egypt. Well. Uh. As, uh, as it's you, I remember what you did to my people. <laughs> the, I, I want you to know. I want you to know. I want you to know. The, the, uh, uh, as archaeologists have found out, the Jews actually were never slaves in Egypt. That's... Uh, was a mythological story. But anyway, we can discuss Bible studies later. Uh, I want you to begin drawing a, a picture. Begin drawing a picture now. Anything. Something that comes to your mind. Something that if I show it to the audience, they'll know what it is. You drew straight lines back and forth. You drew a rounded, curved line. Something living. You're drawing little straight lines. You're drawing another big circle. Are you... Hold, put it in my hand. Are you done? Am I holding it correctly for the audience to see? If I, there? Yeah. Don't say it out loud. Don't say it out loud. Put it, put it in my hand. Am I holding it correctly for the audience to see? No? Okay. Now look. Don't say it out loud because I can hear you. This is what I know. I know Yusuf drew, drew curved lines. Curved lines are usually something living. Since you didn't react, it's something abstract. Uh, I, I know, I know that you drew straight lines, lots of straight lines. If someone draws something with lots of straight lines, it's something man-made, yes? Uh, usually something architectural, yes, okay. So we're gonna, go, we're gonna go with hers first. I'm going to say that this is something you learned to draw when you were very little, is that right? Yes? I'm going to say that this is a, uh, a house with crosshatch windows and a door. Give a round of applause. Take that for me, if you would. Yusuf, the, uh, this is uh, uh, an abstract piece, yes? It, no? It actually is something? Okay. I'm going, to say, I'm going to say this is mostly curved lines. Is that right? Mostly curved lines. 
uh, I'm go then, then if, it's, if it has to be an actual something, because he had a half moon on top and a half moon on bottom and a half moon in the middle like this, I'm going to say, because I can hear as it moves across the page, I'm going to say, is this a puzzle piece? No. no? no. Yusuf, I don't know what it is. I'm going to, I'm going to, is it, is it a living thing? Yes. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's a living thing with mostly curved lines. Are there some lines that if this was drawn correctly would have been straight? Okay. Is, this is a creature that lives in the water. This is a creature that lives on the water. This is a duck. Give him a round of applause. Good job, Yusuf. Good job. I'm going to take your markers. But you can go back to your seat. Give him a round of applause for being brave. Now comes, now comes everybody's favorite part but mine. Okay. The coins are still in there. And now like a bandage. Ow. And we're back. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Oh, you guys, it's been such a great joy and pleasure to see you. Some of these acts are going to be performing with me at the Orleans Hotel and Casino in a big stage show in August. Look up the Orleans. Come see us at that show, too. See us here next year. There's some more acts coming out. Thanks so much.